Hey guys, this is Jaser. How is everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, uh, Web Basics of JavaScript, which is about uh, scripts, um, loading order, uh, async and defer. Actually, in my real wor world job, I never used async and defer before. Uh, I always put the, our script at the right before the closing body tag. So that's a common practice. But uh, to prepare for an interview, I need to understand more about how browser parses and uh, lo loads and executes scripts. So let's start. So default um, script tag is parser blocking. I believe you have heard of that. So the idea is very simple. Like there's a graph here, uh, the HTML parsing, and now if we a script tag is met and it is it's a uh, synchronized synchronous without defer without a sync then the browser will try to fetch the script and uh, then execute it right while this fetch and the execution is being done the DOM constructing will be paused so this is called parser blocking suppose that there is a element like p tag after script so the the browser parses p tag and then comes to this script tag it will load and, and it execute and then continue constructing this p tag. So it's like it's wait, waste a little time here. So actually, what did pro browser do? I'll give you a brief overview of it. So this is it, right? So browser re first receive a HTML document, what convert the byte to the characters and then tokens, and with the attribute. It will transform the tags into nodes and constructor constructor construct a DOM tree. This is like the bone of the HTML document. When this tree is done, and the DOM content loaded element uh, event will be fired. But this is the bone. There's no makeup. Some of the elements like uh, head and uh, comment nodes doesn't need the makeup, right? For the makeup is the CSS, so it's all because the CSS is cascading. Uh, it's still a tree tree structure for span. Not only the style of itself is applied, but also his parents, the parents' parents, all the styles are applied to it. So it's a tree. So this is called CSS OM, and then browser will combine these two tree together, and get uh, the tree of the real elements that is visible to our eyes and apply the CSS so this is a render tree but for this render tree we don't know exact how where where each element is where the dimension what the dimension is so we need to apply this tree to the real browsing environment uh, applying the layout applying the scroll bar something and then uh, the real UI is done rendering is done so this is how the browser works. Now, when we are parsing this HTML, when we made a script, that is how we will handle it. We will wait for fetch, wait for execution, and then continue the DOM parsing. And of course, it's a waste of time. So there are two attributes to improve it. One is defer. With defer, uh, here is defer. With defer apply, the script fetch will be done in the background so the DOM constructing will will be not will be not blocked and the script fetched will be executed after the DOM uh, construct constructor constructing is done and the order will be kept so there will be uh, like for, like there are multiple script with defer this order the script one will be executed before the script or two, right? So the order is capped. That this is just what defer is. What well defer, you see, load and execution is not right uh, right after each other. So it's defer. Defer to the execution to the end, right? And uh, after the script is executed, the DOM content loaded will be fired. Actually, the logic is DOM content loaded is fired when there is no more script that is waiting to be executed okay rather than defer there's another script called async 
I think it's a little just uh, similar to defer. It will defer. Uh, it will fetch the script in the background, so it will not block the DOM constructing. But when the script is executed, the DOM constructing is still uh, blocked. So that's what that's what should we that's what we should uh, pay attention to. I think only only make the fetch in the background, not the execution. So this is all for a sync and defer. Uh, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is if your script is about ads or tracking, like some Google sn snippet, then it should be used uh, as a sync because it's no has no relationship uh, with the main web application, right? So you can just uh, okay when you're when you're ready, you can just be executed. It, you don't get don't mess up with my with me. So that it, for that case, I think it is good. And for that for the other case, I think defer there is not so much usage for defer. Uh, nowadays, I think for me, I would just put the script at the just right before the closing body tag. Technically, if we do that, actually comparing to defer, uh, defer if we use defer, it will be faster because the fetch could be done uh, parallelly. But if we use put all script at the just right before the collision tag, the fetch will also be after the DOM construction ring is done, right? Constructing is done. So that is like slightly not good enough. But here's are two concerns. That's why we do this. Like we do put the script at the end. It's because one, defer may not have 100% support for compatibility for all the browsers. For some old browsers, defer may not work as we expect it to. And the second one, if we are cre creating like a single page applications, the DOM structure actually will be very simple uh, for the initial render. Like uh, for my application, there will always be like body and div, a root div, and that's all. So because the process is so, so short, there's no need, you need to defer it, right? Because there's like, like, like there's so much, not so much to be uh, deferred for. So for the complex, so for the sim simplicity, we just uh, put the script tag at the end, and it's easy to understand. It has better compatibility, and uh, it is easier to manage. Manage right, because we don't need to understand how defer works. <laughs> like, like, like we, like uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to learn right, uh, right now. So the conclusion, yeah, defer. Mm, we should only use it when we have to put the script in the middle of the document or at the head. For that case, we might defer might be useful. If not, we should put the at the end. So that's the uh, conclusion. So besides the conclusion, I I want to mention one more thing is that uh, CSS block, uh, render blocking CSS. So CSS is actually a rendering block. Remember, this is not parser block. So if we met some tags like this, uh, we're getting an external style sheet. Style sheet. We are creating the DOM and the CSS element, right? But CSS element is only about makeups, about the about the appearance. So it will not affect the bones. So the browser will do it parallelly. So the CSS will be rendering block. So the first rendering. First render of all the page or the UI will be after the CSS OM, OM is constructed. All right? Yeah, but it will not block the DOM, the bone, the DOM constructing. So that that is uh, that 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 is where we should understand. And uh, and uh, render blocking CSS. Yeah, and the CSS and the CSS OM DOM constructing ring. Constructing is a gradual process. It's not say, okay, I'll get the full DOM and get the full CSS and the render. So as we search on the web materials, it says it's gradual. So the browsers are trying its best to serve the, the user uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, a visible content as fast as, as possible. So it's a gradual process. There is no direct relationship between the CSSOM 
and the DOM content loaded event, right? Cool. And uh, here's the trick, like uh, like we're doing here. Like the last one is uh, dynamic scripting, right? We could create a script tag and insert the script tag into the DOM, and the script in the the script inserted will be actually be default to a sync, so it will work just like as a sync. If we want to, if we want to keep the order, so we set manually sets a script a sync to false. So here's a here's a problem. If we use this, actually we need to create a script tag, right? We synchronous. This part will be be put into the DOM. While this while the script inserted like this will be a sync, but the whole script will be sync synchronized, right? Sync. So this script, when browser meets this script, the browser doesn't know whether this script needs the CSS or OM or not. So this script actually blocks the DOM constructor because it is it should wait for the CSS OM to be parsed. Well, this is a very tricky part. So if you use a dynamic in proc in, in, in dynamic script, it might drag down. Uh, the whole performance of the of the web page. It is addressed here. Here, remember. Okay, I reload. JavaScript blocks DOM construction unless explicitly declared as a sync. Okay, here, JavaScript execution pauses until CSS OM is ready. So actually, the code, the whole snippet, will trigger as JavaScript execution, right? If you take a look at the uh, graph here, actually this will block, will wait for the CSS OM. So if there is a CSS uh, declaration, uh, no external CSS code before this script, and it took a long time, and it will be waiting, and it when it will waiting be waiting. HTML parsing will be blocked. So you see, if there is no script, the CSS will not block the HTML constructing, right? So DOM constructing. But if there if there is a script, now the CSS blocks the script and then blocks the HTML parsing. So the script acts adds more complexity. And uh, the dynamic injected script actually is, I think, is is ready used in our days. It's only used for some like a loader or something. It's, yeah, for some special cases. Basically, we should not use it. And uh, yeah, that's all for this one. Uh, remember, as we said, JavaScript execution pause until the CSS are ready. The execution. This is execution for a sync. For a sync, where, for a sync, yeah, this is execution. This is execution, and of course, this is execution. So this actually, when here, it will wait the CSS or OM, oh, still waits waits for it, but this DOM constructing is done. So it actually affects nothing, and uh, that's a tricky part. So let's do a recap before we leave. Um, async, uh, default, wait for fetch, wait for script execution. Async, just uh, fetch the script in the background, wait for its execution. Uh, defer, wait for, uh, no, uh, fetch in the background, and uh, defer the execution after the DOM constructing is done, after the DOM, right? And the order is kept. A thing keeps no order, and uh, one more thing: strict execution pauses CSS parsing. Right, this part pauses, and this pauses, and this pauses. So, if there is a, if there is a, uh, if there is a CSS external CSS CSS uh, at uh, before the script, either we make it a sync, or make it a defer. Or put the script before before the CSS uh, declaration, right? 
So, okay, that's all for this video. I'll put all the links uh, I mentioned in the description of this video. Hope it helps, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.